Welcome everybody, welcome back to Morning Word. Thank you for joining us. For those new to this, this is where I share a short two minute video, really just sharing from my own inspiration from my own personal Bible studies. I must say this, I am not a scholar of the Bible, don't work for a church, don't, I'm not a teacher of the word or anything like that. Yo, but I know that God has took me from utilizing his Bible from here. Understand this, a kid coming out of school with two GCSEs to here, married, doing well, quote unquote in this world okay but i know that god wants to do even greater things in me and i know that my foundation is this and i really wanted to share that inspiration so you can be inspired to go and live the life that i know god is calling you to live as well so obviously let's really get into this we only have a short time so we're going to be reading from the book of genesis those taking notes and we're going to be reading from chapter 13 okay verse 2 to 4 okay and i want to say this okay the 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 understanding of this of this message for me was it's okay to have money and god at the same time and they don't have to conflict all right Okay, it's okay to believe in God and have money and they don't conflict. So I want to read this. And he reads this from verse 2 and it says, So Abraham, um, so no, Abraham had become very, very wealthy in livestock, in silver and gold. And from the Negev he went from place to place until he came to Bethel, to the place between Bethel and I where his tent had been earlier and where he had first built an altar. There Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Understand this. Abraham loved God. Abraham is revered throughout the whole of the Bible, okay, for his righteousness, for his right standing before God. So this was a godly man. But understand this, he also had great wealth, okay? There is a crazy conflict that in the world at the moment that if you have wealth of any sort and talk of terms of financial wealth, okay, that you can't be a Christian or you can't be godly or you can't be sincere or you can't be trustworthy. That is a lie. Money holds no personality, okay? Money just highlights who you are, okay? If you, if you are a terrible person, okay, money will magnify that. Okay, if you're a good person, money will magnify that. Okay, that's all it does. So here we, we see that Abraham was a righteous man. He had great wealth, but was right standing with the Lord and loved God. Okay, and that's what God, will have, you know, really was challenging me. Like Denzel, what misguided uh, understandings or what misgivings do you have around money? Okay, what misguidings do you have around money? And now I'll throw that back to you as well. What misguiding thoughts do you have around money and this belief that you, you can't be a good person, have crazy wealth? Okay, so this is the lesson of the day. You can have crazy wealth, but money is only an amplifier of who you are. So as we always say with Jen Holt, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. God bless you. Thank you for joining us and join us on the next Morning We Work.